week before spring break has finally come. Just today and then three more days and then we're getting a whole week off. Woo! And for the seniors, we're getting our very first off on the first day of spring break too. Things are looking good. Let's see if there's more good news for you today. Hey Vikings, prom is this Friday at the North from 8 p.m. to midnight in Pasadena. If you're going, make sure to bring a proof of a vaccination or a proof of a recent negative COVID test. Speaking of prom, here are the nominees for the prom court. We have Jesse Arias and Ariana Hernandez, Jesus Garcia and Brianna Rios, Clarissa Hernandez and Patrick Cruz, Jacob C. Nettles and Vanessa Martinez. And last but not least, we have one of our very own news cast members, Natalie Gabalis, and her partner, Hugo Gomez. Congratulations to all, all the nominees, and don't forget to... Vote for Natalie and Hugo! Voting will take place during prom, so don't forget to vote for us. Thanks, everyone. From dealing with performing virtually behind the screen to scoring superior at the Southern California Vocal Association, our chamber choir performed beautifully after a rough year. Congratulations to Miss Ludwig and everyone who participated. We are very proud of you. Also, are you ready for some baseball? Come to a game with us. The Angels are playing the Nationals on Friday night, May 6th, and tickets are on sale now at the activities office for $20. Want to go but need a ride? MBHS will provide a bus for the first 50 students who buy a ticket. So don't wait. Come cheer on the chamber choir as they perform the national anthem before the game. Deadline to purchase tickets is Monday, April 11th. That's all I have for you today. Here's Jonathan with sport updates. Hey Vikings, this week our baseball team will take on Arroyo on Thursday. The game will be home and starts at 3.15. Our softball team will also have a game at home and it starts at 3.15. Our track and field will have a meet at Marshall, the meet starting at 3.15. Our tennis team will take on Salta Money away at 3.15 and will travel to Arroyo to take on the Knights on Thursday at 3.15. That's all for me. Here's Sanja. Hey Vikings! For Music Rex this week, we're going to be recommending some songs that are from different genres from what we usually recommend. The first recommendation is classical music. Here is Winter by Antonio Vivaldi from the Four Seasons. It's an underrated but energizing piece. Then we have for you a K-pop song, Run To You by Stacey. recommend a metal song. I present to you Misanthrope by Death. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not the kind of song we normally recommend. Well, anyways, I hope you found these songs interesting. Now let's head over, over to Abel with Movie Rex. Thanks, Sanja. This week's movie picks are good ones, starting off with The Chronicles of Riddick. Galactic criminal Riddick, played by Vin Diesel, is on the run with bounty hunters on his tail. He receives guidance from Arion, played by Judy Dench, an ambassador from the Elemental Race, who informs him that a warrior known as the Necromongers is annihilating all the human life in the galaxy in a bid for universal dominance. The wise Arion urges Riddick into battle, believing he is the one man who can defeat the Necromongers and their leader, the evil Lord Marshall, played by Colm Farrell. Next up, we have Split. Kevin, played by James McAvery, has evidenced 23 personalities to his trusted psychiatrist, Dr. Fletcher, played by Betty Buckle. There remains one still submerged who is set to materialize and dominate all the others, compelled to abduct three teenage girls led by the willful, observant Cassie, played by Anna Taylor-Joy. Kevin reaches a war for survival among all those contained within him, as well as everyone around him. As the walls between his compartment shatter, well, that's it for me this week. See you guys next week. What's up, Vikes? This week's anime is a special one. Since it's the month of April, 
I chose Your Line April, a romantic drama anime where the protagonist's 14 year old piano, piano prodigy Kosuet becomes, fam becomes famous after winning several music competitions. When his mother suddenly dies, Kosuet feels the burden of losing his mother and has a mental breakdown while performing at a piano recital. This results in him becoming unable to hear the sound of his piano, even though his hearing is in otherwise unaffected. Two years later, Kosuet has forgotten about piano and views the world differently. He does not focus on excelling in any activities and often spends his time with friends playing, playing games. Then suddenly, while at the park, Kosuet encounters Kaori Mayazono, an audacious free-spirited 14-year-old violinist who plays style reflects her active personality. Throughout this anime, you will get to see both Kaori and Kosuei flourish as they complete together uh, while dealing with their hardships and mental conditions. I strongly recommend this anime to newcomers with only two seasons in both sub and dub. That's it for me, and see you next week. Hey! The Environmentalist Club fun fact is here! Did you know that a more sustainable way to wrap your food is by using beeswax paper? Beeswax paper is a great biodegradable alternative to plastic food wrap, and it comes with other benefits. You can wash it with cold water and mild detergent, so with proper care, you can use it for up to a year, and when you're done with it, you can even compost it. Beeswax paper is also antimicrobial thanks to a key ingredient, propolis, which can fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungi, according to WebMD.com. Now, depending on which brand you buy from, you can put food wrap in beeswax paper in the freezer. Two brands with freezer-friendly beeswax paper are Milby and Ideal Wrap. Admittedly, it is pricey with sets ranging from $20 to $35, but then again, it can last a year, so you decide if it's worth the price. With that, I shall conclude our fun fact for this week. Environmentalist Club, there will be a meeting today in room 253 at lunch. Be there if you want to stay in upcoming events. As for the rest of the school, I hope the next few days also have interesting upcoming events for you too. Bye and have 